here's my reflow oven controller here is the actual reflow oven I got a few parts in there right now over here I got the uh, thermocouple close it no temperature settings here that's nothing here's the actual thing that does everything the controller let's see if we can see the display pretty well okay I have four options baking reflow solder settings and the overall system check this program is using the max 6675 which is the uh, k-type thermocouple I see so I'm gonna go ahead sorry for not holding the camera still I want to choose baking and it's gonna immediately turn on the relay and display us this little screen and it is gonna things need to be plugged in so now temperature is rising 28 it takes a while but mostly under a minute to reach uh, working temperature baking temperature is 80 degrees you can set and change all that in the settings thirty six degrees it's going pretty fast there's the power switch button one Two other buttons here's an indicator of the relays I have to keep the camera steady which is not an easy thing we got 60 degrees notice the little dot over here I don't know if you can see it it's gonna show the temperature over a period of eight hours depending on what you entered and uh, display it its status displays that as in chart now it has disconnected because temperature has been reached it is 85 degrees so it will just do nothing and so on here are the parts there's the parts the thermocouple which is just basically two wires and it's nice and warm in, in that oven there's the oven regular standard electric oven you can pick those up for under a hundred bucks and the actual project the controller which is again here there you go In the second step I will show you how to reflow with it this is just a baking 
procedure to get the parts dried out of the mo get the moisture out of the parts. That's it. Baking with the reflow oven. You can see here the temperature came from like 20, 25, almost 200, well, 85. There it is. Oh yeah, we got the uh, running time, which is not very accurate, but it's okay. It's off already by 30 seconds. There's better timer functions. Probably in the next release I'll change that to better timing. But it's not crucial. Anyway, thank you for watching.